Uh, sorry about the. I'll just turn this down actually one minute. So it's a bit quieter. So today I think they tried to fuck me over, but it backfired. Um, this is the note they gave me at the job centre last time to meet. Uh, it clearly says with Becky about 3.15 so I went today to be told that oh Becky isn't in you know so I was like well you know I was told to meet Becky but then this guy uh, I meet this other guy instead I got off to a bit of a touchy start but he, he seemed cool later on uh, I thought he was gonna fuck me over because I forgot my um, passport and identification and stuff but he agreed to um, let me come down you know again to bring it in to uh, you know get it sorted this week so you know that that was cool but uh, he didn't target me but the last person was targeting me so I'm not surprised that Apparently this person, Becky, she apparently quit or something. That's what he said. He said he'd only just started uh, this week. So, you know. But, um, yeah, it's like, uh, that's the kind of stuff they do. Also parked DPD outside again. Uh, outside the job centre, which I hope, I did try and film, but my camera was low. I think I may have got a bit of it, but we'll see uh, how well that came out but but yeah I mean it clearly says with Becky you know I forgot to mention in the video that you're gonna see as well you will see that there was a yellow bike this is something they've been targeting me with the last two weeks and actually three weeks quite a lot I'm constantly seeing these yellow bikes just parked up there was another one at my uh, bus stop I would have filmed it, but my camera ran out of juice after that clip. But, um, yeah, they've been using that to try and these bikes, like a higher bike kind of thing to try and target me, I guess, the colour yellow. So, you know, keep seeing them. Uh, but you'll see in the video how that guy comes up with one hand in his pocket. Um, you'll see the DPD van. They were also targeting me in the job centre. I think I forgot they had a guy sat next to me just going like this. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You know, like muttering obscenities under his breath. So I, I did the same back. He was doing hand signals as well. So they were trying to get me to get mad in the job centre, I guess. Uh, so I just targeted him back and then uh, went in and spoke to the person. So, yeah, you know. But yeah, um, that's the kind of stuff they do. Okay, so one of my band here in this room as well. We're just uh you know, this is what you call a repeating pattern. Um I went to the uh, job centre. Uh, annoyingly I forgot my uh, ID and stuff, but the guy was pulling on me so You know, you see there once again. The DVD van on the side this time, you know what I mean? So they've always got to uh, be doing that. You know, so. But yeah, it's like, luckily, um, the guy was cool. I thought it was going to be funny with me at first, but he seemed to warm, warm to me a bit and kind of sympathise with what I was going through. So, well, I didn't tell him about the target, but he seemed to, you know, he wasn't just one of them people that said, okay, you're going to have to come back next week. And he's, he uh, was cool with me bringing it in tomorrow, the idea and that, so hopefully um, it'll all get sorted out. Um, but yeah, they, they were targeting me in there, uh, 